I feel weird not having uh, Grant and Bone and Admiral and Kyle and all those guys here at this uh, camp. Um, it's different. Uh, it was different, uh, I would say, after the season once they left. But I think by now uh, we've gotten used to it, but we definitely missed them for sure. What, what's the biggest area you've, you've looked to improve your game this offseason? Um, I think uh, just probably the, the mental side, you know, just uh, the mental side and the details, you know, just taking – taking everything day by day and uh, preparing the best way I can. What ways have you worked to improve on that? Um, I think just approaching each practice with a different mindset and uh, just knowing the things you have to get better at and knowing the things the team has to get better at. So I'm seeing in the media guy that you make questionable choices with your facial hair and hairstyles. It's according to the media guy, not me. So I don't know if you want to defend yourself or... Um, I didn't know that that was in the media guide, but I feel like my personal decisions for my facial hair and look, I feel like I feel like they're okay. Are they something you get made fun of? Or? Uh, I don't think it's making fun. I think it's more jealousy. Yeah. Okay. What's like yeah. the go-to? What's the go-to cut? Um. Well, I usually have a go-to cut haircut, but I haven't got my haircut since last season. And um, I'm not really sure how long I'm gonna let my hair grow, but when I when I get it cut, I'll go back to the go go to cut. Okay. Yep. Is there a name for it? Um, not really. M my barber knows what it is, but okay. I don't know what it's called. So, is it gonna get like man bun length? You think before you before you change something about it? Um, I don't know. I'm I'm really on the fence. I've been talking to some people. I'm on the fence about if I should cut it, if I shouldn't. You know, it's. It gets a little annoying out here playing, but uh, I really like it, and uh, I've never done it before, so I kind of want to see how long, how long I can go. It's just like a playoff hockey situation to where you're going to just grow it out until maybe you guys lose or a losing streak and then maybe turn it around? I'm definitely, uh, definitely something like that. I'm not sure, I'm not sure what, but uh, like I said, I don't know whether to let it keep growing or cut it. I don't know. John, in terms of your role on the team, you know, you, you've always been a guy, you know, an energy guy, you know, you, you don't mind to come off the bench and get some boards and, and things like that. Did your mindset change a little bit with this team now? With so many guys gone, with so much production gone, is it, does your mindset have to change a little? I think it does, you know, like we, we had so many people, uh, we had uh, Grant, Kyle, and Admiral, I mean, three big time players in the post, and so uh, I think, I think myself and uh, all the other post players have to step up um, and play bigger roles than we have in the past. In, in terms of looking to score more, I know you're a guy who obviously you've been playing this game your whole life. You can you can put the ball in the bucket. Where have you tried to grow your game as a scorer? I think just being consistent with uh, the moves I have and uh, really patenting them to uh, to have like go-to moves. I believe. So are you still looking mid-range in most of the time, or have you tried to expand your? Um, I'm always trying to expand it, and so uh, I think just playing throughout the offense and, and getting the shots in the offense is the biggest thing. What other post players are standing out to you? What have you seen from Drew Pember and Uros and uh, Devontae and those guys, Olivier and those guys? Um, I think all of our guys have, have come in and worked really hard. You know, uh, Drew is playing really well. Um, you and O are playing really well too. So I think I think everybody has, has given us positive uh, feedback and positive things on and off the court. Just in terms of watching just for a couple of minutes of practice last week, it seems like Uros is a very vocal guy. Is that the case at, at all times, 24 seven, he's very vocal, encouraging? Um, yeah, for the most part, like he's always talking, whether on the court, off the court, locker room. Yeah, he's always, he's always uh, pretty vocal. In terms of whether he can play or not, does that change anything about what you might have to do this season? Because obviously it's, you know, there's not a ton of seven-footers out there. If you all lose one, that obviously, I guess would mean everybody who's big has to step up. Right. I think it does. Uh, you know, like you said, uh, he, he, he'll be a, a key part to our, our uh, big depth. And so uh, if he's not eligible, I think everybody else will have to really step up. Do you think that's playing on him at all? You're a guy who, who kind of, you know, see him every day, you know, treat, deals with him, you play ball with him. Is that stuff weighing on him at all? I don't think it is. Um, I mean, in my opinion, if we talk to him, I, I think that he'll be eligible. And so, uh, 
I think I think he's not really stressing about it. So it's good vibes, I guess, basically. Yes. Yes.